Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. The value of any spiritual platform, among many others, is measured in the kind and the quality of the message that has been given to them and how intentional they are in dispensing that message in this kingdom what gives power to men is the message above and beyond the person hallelujah praise the name of the lord i wrote down here and i want you to listen and then write every attack every spiritual attack on a man of god on a ministry or on any vision is ultimately an attempt to silence the message every spiritual attack on a man of god on a ministry or on a vision is ultimately intended to silence the message this is what satan is about when satan attacks people he does not just attack them for themselves he attacks them so that he brings them to a point where their message is not heard watch this now the attack of satan with respect to ministries or men of god is twofold number one the first attack is on the character of the individual why is the character very important because the character is what gives credence and believability to your message are we together before people believe what you are saying they want to believe in you so when the devil attacks your character look up please when the devil attacks your character what he ultimately seeks to do is to bring you to a point where you are not of credence before the people and therefore whatever comes out of you they do not pay attention to it so the first attack of satan is usually the character of the man of god and when he goes that route the second route is the quality of the message these two things the character of the man of god and the message but ultimately the attempt is to silence the message let's look at two scriptures to buttress on that point very quickly acts chapter 4 and verse 15. this was after the man at gate beautiful had been healed we're reading to 18 very quickly then we'll go to verse 5. it says but when they had commanded when peter now was called into the council they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred among themselves uh-huh saying what shall we do to this man for indeed a notable miracle had been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in jerusalem and we cannot deny it 17 watch this now but that it spread no further among the people let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth no more to no man in this name so the problem was their speaking there was something about their message and the power and the transformation it was producing. Verse 18. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all or teach in the name of Jesus. That was the warning. That was all Satan was about. Now let's go to chapter 5 and begin our reading from verse 27. 5 and 27. 5 and 27. Not 19, 27. Yes. 5 27 and when they had brought them one more time they appear before the jerusalem council and set them before the council the high priest asked them 28 saying did we not straightly command you that you should not teach in this name and behold ye have filled jerusalem with your doctrine other versions will say with your message and intend to bring this man's blood upon our heads 
the message is powerful because among many things that the message does is to give the people a new orientation it structures their understanding to begin to see god and to see life from a more superior standpoint and these guys were threatened by the message someone said the message now let me let me just share with you something very powerful before i go to the meat of our discussion i wrote down here and if you are in ministry here particularly the fivefold ministry i want you to please pay attention this is a two or five minutes powerful crash course as far as excelling in ministry is concerned listen very carefully every ministry i wrote down here every calling and every commission from god that must find expression must have these five essentials so that every ministry every calling and every commission that is from god and seeks to find expression must have these five essentials if god has called you or you claim god has called you if these five essentials are not at work in your life and your commission i guarantee you your ministry and your vision will never find the light of day this is not only true for ministry it is true for any kind of organization are we together let me run through the list ready number one every ministry every calling and every commission must have number one the message or the mandate this is the first essential for any ministry to succeed you must understand your mandate or your message you can preach many messages you can preach many series but it is important that you understand the message that which is a holistic capture that represents your contribution as far as the mandate of God to you is concerned the message in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17 we see this classically revealed in the life of Jesus himself from that time the Bible says Jesus began to preach and to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand there was no confusion there was no ambiguity as to the message of Jesus you could distinguish the ministry of Jesus as against that of John, as against that of any other prophet. There was clarity and exactitude to his message. John chapter 10 and verse 10, still making reference to Jesus to buttress this point. Jesus was speaking and he said, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He said, But I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly are we together in matthew chapter 10 i believe from verse 7 he was commissioning the apostles the disciples now and he made before he started talking about signs and wonders he said as ye go preach saying there was an exact content to the message he didn't say as ye go well just say whatever you want to say as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand meaning within your reach and then verse 8 demonstrates the validity of that kingdom by healing the sick cleansing the lepers raising the dead casting out devils giving freely but the message is in verse 7 the kingdom of heaven is at hand so every ministry that must find expression every organization must have their mandate and their message clearly spelled please look up now i teach especially in ministers conferences when i charge ministers especially on this point i tell them that god has called different ministers to do several things it is the mandate and the assignment of every man of god to insist that the subject matter that relates to the area of call and mandate becomes one of the truths that are most surely believed among the people is that true let me give you an instance if you go to canaan land to our father in the gospel bishop Oedipo, there are many things that you hear people know but a typical dedicated covenant winner when you speak to them as touching the matters of faith, they live, they breathe faith because in one word, the theme of that commission is faith. Are we together? Yes. 
respectfully speaking if you go to say mountain of fire and miracle ministries you know you step the, from the gate you will start praying <laughs> hallelujah it doesn't matter whether you are saved or not you can be saved later on as you go but from that place because the the energy of the mandate will force you into the vision is someone learning already it's important that every vision that must thrive especially to a global scale the people who are connected within that vision must understand what they represent great organizations across the world both in the christendom and the secular they have all kinds of creeds that indoctrinate the workforce helping them to understand these as a basic modus operandi of the company if you meet someone who works say in mcdonald's and you ask them certain things about the, it will be an embarrassment to the company that they just say me i'm selling here i don't even know what we are here for it's important you understand your message many believers and many organizations are not able to thrive because there is confusion and haziness as far as understanding the message is concerned number two very quickly for time the second essential that every calling every ministry must have is the strategy for execution i call it the pattern it's not enough to Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.